Hi there, this is Ranjit and I have this uh, Mi 3 with me and some of you have asked about custom launchers because this uh, Mi 3 comes with the custom UI called Mi UI and some of you might not like it because it looks like iOS uh, rather than Android. We don't have the app tray here. Uh, but fortunately as it's running android we can use custom launchers and in fact as you can see i could download nova launcher directly from the play store and we can use that and i'll show you how to set it as default let's just fire up the nova launcher and as you can see now we get the familiar android experience uh, you can uh, add your widgets etc these are your apps so that works but one thing you'll notice is that uh, by default if you just hit the home button it will take you back to the Mi Launcher. You have to set it as default if you want to continue using it. And this is how you set it. You just go to the settings and here you might be on quick settings. So go to the general settings and here locate this apps. And here uh, you'll see this uh, uh, icon over here. Click this. This is for defaults. And here from the launcher, you'll see that it's set to system launcher. That is nothing but that uh, me uh, launcher and we want to set it to nova launcher and just say replace and now when you hit home you should be back to this nova launcher which is a fam very very familiar and from here you can add widgets etc as you can see from the nova launcher so this give you a more familiar experience i would say but don't worry a good thing is i like this we still have this quick toggles over here that we get with the me uh, launcher and let's say you don't want to use this Nova launcher and just want to go back to the regular older uh, Mi launcher. You can just go to the settings again. Just go to the apps. Go to the defaults and here from the launcher, set it back to system launcher. And now you are back to the Mi launcher. I'll also be later on making a small video regarding the common questions that I'm getting on this device. So if you have any particular questions about this device, do post them in the YouTube comments and I'll try to take them up in the FAQ video that I'm going to make soon. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.